There you go, son. Is that the water butt? <laughs> yeah. There's a fuel tank in there. Hello, folks. I am back out. I've not been out since April of this year. This is the best day of my life. <laughs> I'm out with... Uh, that man there just trundling down here now. Um, but we're supposed to go to Operation Jackdaw today, but it's got cancelled all of a sudden because of a double booking, which was quite unfortunate, really. So Paul, Paul Schilling, he's uh, said that we could come down here to uh, his other bit of land that he's got for Operation Jackdaw as well. But that's going to be a work in progress at the moment. But um, you can camp here still but not too many for parking. So we're here on our own um, in this lovely 12 acre bit of land and we can basically do what we want. I found my spot, no deadfall. No widow makers, I should say. Yeah, that's me, I'm setting up. I won't show you the boring bits, I'll show you when it's set up. The hell is Someone wonder what he's done. Well, I am bush now. That's bloody hot out there in the uh, in the open air. But in here, oh, so cool, it's lovely. Yeah, look, TD tarp, uh, cover cure hammock, and it's a Lixada under blanket. Yeah, it's gonna be cool tonight, hopefully. I'll get some sleep. Don't need a sleeping bag this time of year, but pays to bring it, doesn't it? I'm with Mr. Des Catties. Hello. Link in the description below. Go give him a subscribe and uh, like all his videos. Thank you. Uh, yeah, Mr. Bushcraft himself he is. But yeah, we're heading down the old, uh, down the pub. Did you say left here? Yeah, left here. Okay. Not even gonna tell you where the pub is, because it's secret. Yeah, I can't tell you. Nah, you. tradesman secret, we'll have to shoot you. We're just heading down to the pub. Literally just after I switched off that last clip, it's bloody raining. Raining if, oh that's nice. Raining if you ever did. Two days later. I know you can't tell that it's a hill, but uh, we've just come back from the pub. Yeah, look, this is how, that's me looking straight. And there's Des up there. This is a killer. Yeah, we've just come back from the pub. Really bushcrafty, hey? Can you smell it? Yes. The smell of poor shit and fresh air.
Yeah, this is a lovely woodland, folks. So what I will say now is if there are any veterans out there, uh, military veterans, uh, who might be having a bit of a hard time, or even if you're not, you can come here or to uh, Operation Jackdaw uh, and talk to other other ex-soldiers, current soldiers who are serving now, uh, and spend the, the weekend out in the woodlands. More often than not, um, there'll be someone here from the bushcraft community uh, as well, teaching you how to do fires, blah, 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 make spoons, um, stuff you probably already know. Uh, but it's just nice to get out and chat with other people and just enjoy yourselves for the weekend in some nice peaceful woods so this wood is only good for two vehicles to park so this one's more for a very small group uh, four people if you come in one car eight people if you come in two uh, if you've got a mini bus or something you'll get a mini bus in here and you, you've got the whole woodland to play with amongst yourselves this 12 acre woodland absolutely loads of trees to cut down um, obviously don't cut the live ones down unless they're looking a bit dangerous but there's hazel in here ash chestnut holly trees uh, you name it it's, it's probably in here yeah come down i'll leave the email for paul who owns the land in the description uh, box below uh, so if you fancy coming out and you like what you see off of this video or Des Catty's video, he's, he's in the description, go and have a look at his video as well. Um, yeah, get in touch with Paul and uh, he'll arrange for you to, to come down to this wood or have a meet up at Operation Jackdaw in Canterbury. So yeah, have a look folks. OMG. <laughs> of course Dad's been coming up here and he's made little pathways look. And he's lined, lined the edge of the path with little tree curb, curbing so you can find your way up here easy. But just over there where I'm pointing now, there's a little path there anyway, another path, more of a track, what a vehicle's made. And you just get out down there and that takes you down to the parking area. But it's, it needs coppicing badly in here, it's so unmanaged. But that's what we're here to help do and anyone who comes up here as well to enjoy the woodland just do a little bit to help the woodland out and help pull and operation jack the way out 25 degrees centigrade and we've got a fire going <laughs> as des says ambiance the old fire's going down that lovely Spicy sausage and pasta wedges tonight from the old uh, Pepper Shop UK. And <laughs> gonna make it in my uh, unused Pathfinder mug cook pot from, uh, well, obviously Pathfinder, but Grail as well. Came free with me Grail. And, uh, there's the old lid for it. Do you hear them ducks flying over? There's, there's ducks everywhere here, I tell you. <laughs> <laughs> that was uh, Des opening his flask. The <laughs> <laughs> O-ring is very tight on his flask. Tight, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, that's what I'm having tonight in that. So I'm going to get that dirty, which is the done thing. It was a cracking night with uh, Mr. Catties. Um, yes, Court pass. Uh, oh, fuck off. Cracking night there with uh, Mr. Catties. Um, yeah, not much filming. 
uh, because we were just chatting, just chatting, and it was so enjoyable. Uh, the first night back out in the woods um, since April uh, this year, uh, through various reasons. Um, anyone who's out there still watching me, thanks for sticking around. Uh, yeah, it's, it was bloody good, bloody good night. Can't wait for the next camp. What an absolutely lovely little woodland this is. It's about quarter past seven now. Mr. Catties is there up. He loves an early rise. Got the fire on already, look. What a top man. Brilliant night's sleep. That was absolutely fantastic. I just said to Des, I had a dream that I'd, uh, I'd fallen. Um, you know when you get that sudden fall and you wake up? Had that. And uh, I had, the strap had actually slipped in the hammock. My bum was touching the floor. <laughs> So I had to get up and adjust that. Uh, I nearly couldn't be bothered, but yeah, my bum was getting cold even with the under blanket, so I, I just got up and adjusted it. And uh, yeah, but other than that, what a cracking night's sleep. This Cobra Cure hammock is still one of my favourites. Anyway, I'm getting up. Water's boiled. Des has boiled me some water, like a gentleman he is. So uh, I'm going to go and have a cup of, uh, cup of Darjeeling coffee, Des. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah, just gonna walk over now. About twenty steps. Yeah, breakfast time. I do like the all day breakfast from Wayfarer. Get a little bit of egg in it as well. And some Yeah, I've, I've got to say, um, that is a smashing little hammock, Covercure. It's the one I fell out of when I first started hammocking. Um, yeah, I'll put a link to the description in the description to the video for that, if I remember. Uh, quite funny. Des Cat, he's quite often goes back to that video because he likes to see me fall out and hurt myself. <laughs> Yeah, a cracky night sleep in that. I had a good, good six and a half hours sleep. Um, should have been seven, but I'm counting wee breaks and the time uh, the slip strapped. The slip strapped, the strap slipped, and I had to reset it because I ended up on the ground. Um, but yeah, thoroughly enjoy that hammock. And now it's raining. Thankfully still got the old DD up. Lovely sound. I just saying to Des, every time I seem to have come out of late, it's not rain. I say of late, I ain't been since April, but yeah, I don't seem to get any rain. Oh, listen to that sound. Doing the decent thing for the next ones who camp up here. We've cut an abundance of wood for you fellas. Um, don't worry, we didn't knacker ourselves out too much. So yeah, that's for you, whoever comes up here next. It's right by the communal camp area. So you know where we are. There's your wood. Fire pits out, all watered down. On Mr. Des Catties, we had some spare water, so that was done. Uh, there's some wood for the next chaps over in there. 
I was camped up over here in my hammock. Leave no trace. There's two little tiny sticks there, what I use for me putting my boots on, but that's no issue. Um, but yeah, that's where I was, hammocking. Des was over yonder. He was in his mosquito net and tarp. So yeah, that's it folks. As they say in the trade, leave nothing but memories, footprints and piss stains, Des, eh? Can't do nothing else other than that. This chainsaw, CC chainsaw, cordless, has been an absolute blinder of this camp. We have chopped down so much wood, and I kid you not, it's still showing four bars of charge. If you wait two seconds, I will show you. That's not a battery change or nothing. Oh. Look at that. Still four bar, fully charged up. That is brilliant. And if the company that sent this to me, don't send me a link for it. I ain't putting my review video up. And all you've done is cost yourself some money sending me a chainsaw. So, yeah, and a blinder it is too. But if they send me the link, you'll see the review video. And um, there'll be a link in the description of the uh, review video. So watch out for that one. Focus. Look, he thought I was leaving him behind, look. Here he comes. Da, da, na, na, da, na, 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 the bionic man. Bionic miles. <laughs> Looks so tiny. <laughs>